Galatians chapter 3 verse 10 through 18. For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law, and do them. Now it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. But the law is not of faith, rather, the one who does them shall live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree. So that in Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles, so that we might receive the promised Spirit through faith. To give a human example, brothers, even with a man-made covenant, no one annuls it or adds to it once it has been ratified. Now the promises were made to Abraham and to his offspring. It does not say, and to offsprings, referring to many, but referring to one, and to your offspring, who is Christ. This is what I mean. The law, which came 430 years afterward, does not annul a covenant previously ratified by God, so as to make the promise void. For if the inheritance comes by the law, it no longer comes by promise, but God gave it to Abraham by a promise. What is the purpose of the law? Paul writes to the church of Galatia that if one is not able to abide exactly as the law prescribes, they are guilty of the curse written in the law. The point Paul is making is that it is not possible for anyone to obey the law since the purpose of the law is to reveal that we are sinners. Romans chapter 7 verse 7 says, What then shall we say, that the law is sin? By no means. Yet, if it had not been for the law, I would not have known sin, for I would not have known what it is to covet if the law had not said, You shall not covet. Thus, Paul explains that righteousness is only obtained through believing in the word of God, which is faith. But the effect of the law remains, since everyone is subject to the law, and wages of sin is death. But Jesus came to take upon the wages of sin by taking the curse upon himself and dying on the cross that everyone through Christ can receive the promise through faith. It is not only Paul's explanation, since Paul shows that Abraham's justification of faith came 430 years before the law, and this justification was given to Abraham because he believed God. Therefore, one who believes the promise given by God, Jesus Christ, is the offspring of Abraham's righteousness through Christ. The Word of God reminds us daily that we need Christ. Without focusing on Jesus, our obedience of His Word becomes like trying to obey the law. It becomes tedious, stressful, and there is no joy. But when we constantly rely on Christ in our daily lives, our very actions produce what the law was intending. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 16 says, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my laws on their hearts and write them on their minds. How do we focus on Christ daily? By loving Him with all our heart, soul, and strength. When we love Jesus, we seek Him. When we love Jesus, we cannot live without Him. When we love Jesus, we place His will above our own. As we meditate on the Bible today, may we realize that we are in need of Jesus and that we may grow in our love for Him.